Hello there, my name is Leo and in this video I will show you how to render out separate frame ranges from one Blender animation. Let's say we want to render frame 200 to 400 and then 600 to 800 and then 900 to 950. Well, then I'm sorry to tell you that Blender can't do that. The graphical user interface does not have a functionality like that, but it obviously works and that's what I'm gonna show you. Save your scene and quit Blender. I opened three folders and I would like you to do the same. Please open up your output folder for the animation where you render the files to. Then open up the place where you have installed Blender. We need to have a look at the blender.exe. And then please open up a third folder containing the .blend file that you actually, uh, that you actually would like to render from. We are gonna create a function, let's say a function with a comment prompt of Windows to tell Blender, alright, please render frame range 1, frame range 2 and 3. And that is actually quite easily achieved by first things first going for the folder your Blender.exe is located. And then you have a look at this. Press into the empty space so we can type in something. I already typed it in. Please just type in CMD and press enter because that will open up a new window with the command line prompt. I'm gonna put it up there. This is just a very fast way of telling the command line prompt, alright, we want to be on drive B in the folder where the blender.exe is located. And now everything is very easy. Maybe a bit unconventional at first, but trust me, this you don't have to know anything about scripting. However, the script or the stuff that you have to put in here is uh, Blender. Just type in Blender because we would like to speak to Blender. And then, minus B, minus B is a command to tell Blender, please render in the background. The lovely thing about command line rendering is, is that we, because we do not need to see the graphical user interface of Blender, that we can actually save performance, which is great. So minus B for rendering in the background, spacebar, and now we have to tell Blender where the blend file is, where it should render from. I have it in the bottom left. Please right click your blend file, go for properties, then from general to security, and then as you can see, object name, just copy it, control C. It is, it's a bit weird, you can double click it but it doesn't work that great so you have to manually select it, all of it, Control C, close the window, go for your CMD window and then Control V. Oh, uh, I accidentally, as you can see, uh, the question mark thing, that, uh, that doesn't belong there. Make sure that it starts with your drive where it is actually located. Spacebar again, we now told Blender, all right, this is the file uh, This is the file path to my blend file. From this point on, it is actually pretty damn easy to set everything up. Minus S is the command to tell Blender the start frame. In this case, start frame 200. For demonstration purposes, I will go for minus E. Minus E is the command for the end frame. I will go for 201. Obviously, you set your frame range to whatever it has to be, but I want to show you that it's actually working, so I will just render out a few frames on that, from that. From that, sorry. And then, very important, minus A. The minus A tells Blender, alrighty ho, 200 to 201 with the settings that are set up in the render file. Because you can create very sophisticated scripts that, for example, change the render engine from frame 201 to 202 for example, so that you can render a certain range just with cycles and the other range maybe with Eevee if you would like to do that. So we set up the first frame range. Minus S starting frame 200, minus E and frame 201, minus A, very important, so Blender knows what, setting, uh, what settings it, ha it has to use during the render. And let's go for the second one. A new starting frame, 400 a new end frame, minus E, uh, 401, and then again a minus 8, uh, minus A, sorry, my English really sucks, man. And again, because we want to render out a third 
sequence. Starting frame 600, minus E for another N frame, 601, and another minus A. And that's it. Not even kidding about this, it is, if you do that the first time, a bit unconventional. It is weird, I'm not a programmer myself. So this was weird the first time I did it, but this is quite literally it. Just hit render and Blender will start doing its magic. And to prove exactly that, I will pause the video for a second there and show you how it is rendering out uh, all of those separate frame ranges from one Blender animation into this wonderful output folder. See you in a... See you in some minutes, hopefully. Quick side note, by the way. If you would like to stop the rendering, then you can just simply close the comment prompt window. It's done! That's really cool. What the hell? Jesus. Huh, weird. But well, it is done. Uh, I think it's still rendering the last frame, but as you can see, it worked as expected. It uh, rendered out the frame ranges that we specified. It jumped from 200 to 400 and in this case then to 600 so everything worked out nice. That's it. This is the video and therefore I will make it quick. I hope I could help you. It is really easy even though it's something that you have to try at first. As you can see it's, it's always the same. It is very easy to set up a comment line prompt like this and I really hope that I could help you and therefore I'd say if you liked the video, if I could help you, please leave a thumbs up. However, if you if I didn't do something great, if I if my explanation was maybe too bad or so, then obviously leave a dislike so I can actually have a look at my tutorial and uh, know if I could help people. But apart from that, I hope that you're going to be safe out there during those uh, these corona times and apart from that, thank you very much for watching. I am out. Mm-hmm.